I'd like to take this opportunity to welcome our online viewers and also our members. We're serving a good God and God wants us to be obedient to Him. Welcome also to Stewardship Time. My name is Ella John Chu. I'll be responsible for stewardship emphasis today. I'd like to draw your attention to two texts of the Bible. One is in Psalms 50, and uh, I'll concentrate on verse 10. It says, All animals are mine, those in the wood, and the cattle, and the thousand hill, every bird of the mountains, and every living thing in the field belongs to me. If I were hungry, I would need to have a discussion with you because everything is mine and I don't need sacrifice because I already own everything. I'd like to jump over to Malachi chapter 3 verse 10. It's a command that God has given to us. He said, bring all my tithe into the temple so there will be plenty of food in my house. Try me and see if I will not open the gates of heaven and pour you out a blessing so that you cannot count them. I will protect your crop and your vineyard and you will have huge harvests. People everywhere will call you blessed. I know this doesn't sound like a regular version that you used to, but this is a living word version. And I like how it's clear that people will say to you, you are blessed, because after they have seen how God bless you, blessing is contingent and one obedience to the Lord. He said, if you bring your tithe into the storehouse, he said that I will in turn open to you not doors, but windows. And he will give you so much blessing that you, can, you cannot contain it. Therefore, God has not failed on his promises. His promises are always sure. So going back to Psalms again, it says, um, everything is mine. Returning a tithe is just, just a way of being obedient to the Lord. Because based on the scripture, God doesn't really need our monies, our dollars, and our cents. Because everything is already His. It's just a matter of um, us acknowledging that we are just stewards. And steward is a person that, who is um, in charge of another man's goods, property, or assets. So God wants us to be faithful so He can keep His promise when we are faithful. I got a short experience I could just share with you briefly. I was at um, Home Depot like a few days ago and a young lady says, you know a preacher said to me, said on the radio that, um, you know, despite of the COVID-19, what is going on, the preacher is still asking people to return their tithes and their offering. So she was addressing me really. And I said, you know, um, that is not really a bad thing because Tithing, you only return tithes from your income. If, you have not, if you're not working or if you're not getting any income, God does not expect you to, um, to return tithes and offering. So um, the line was getting long, so I, couldn't, I didn't want to stay to like hold the, the line up. So uh, all I could do is to pray and just encourage her that church is a good place. Because she said, oh, I'm not a churchy person. But you don't have to be a church person to be obedient in your tithes and your offering. God wants your entire being, your soul, everything. So in closing, I'd just like to encourage you that God is faithful to his word and what he promised, he will deliver. So it all depends upon us. If you want small blessings, then we go small way. If you want a bigger breath blessing, as the, as the Bible says, we must be truly obedient. And let us remember... The one that sow sparingly will reap sparingly. So I'd like to encourage you, let us be faithful, not only in stewardship, but in all aspects 
of our, of our lives towards God who is, the, who is the giver of all mankind. Thank you for listening and I ask that you will be obedient, not to me but to the voice of the Holy Spirit. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your love and your mercies. Thank you that you remind us that your blessing never fail, your promises never fail. So teach us how to be obedient to you so that we can go all the way with you, not only expecting in return financial blessing or asset in any of its form, but we should do it because we love you, not from your returns, but from the love that we have for you. Thank you for blessing us. Thank you for your made a promise. Be with us and keep us faithful. We thank you for hearing our prayers and accept our gifts in Jesus' name. Amen.